Hi guys, this is Angel from PRDB Entertainment. Welcome back to another tutorial of the Unreal Engine. Now, on this tutorial, <coughs> my bad, I will teach you guys how to work with cameras. Now, you may be thinking, why would you want to learn how to work with the camera? That's uh, something so simple just to move the cameras around. Well, no, there's a couple of things that you need to know before uh, making a, a project that you can change from a third person view to a first person view. And also on this tutorial, I will teach you guys how you can add a socket so you can attach uh, different objects or items to your character, like a camera or maybe a grenade or a sword or uh, maybe a weapon, a gun or something or something else. Now, first of all, let's create our third person project, a clean one. This one is going to be F. P no let's put cameras only cameras to tuto for tutorial okay so let's hit on create oh my god caps on cameras tutorial one let's hit on create so let's wait until the Unreal Engine loads everything on the project creates every file. It's gonna be a simple and really easy tutorial, no programming uh, at all. So it's gonna be really easy for you guys. Now, like always, here we have our third person uh, character. I'll hit the play, let's hit play. So as you can see from here, you can choose move with your mouse around to rotate your camera, to, your camera up and down to the sides and everything. Now that's one thing that we need to change because we want our our character to always look at the same place so you can only see uh, the back of his body so first of all we need to add a socket to this character so we can attach another camera so for that let's go to our folder blueprints let's go to the character folder and let's open the skeleton mesh here uh, the skeleton my bad I'm tired, it's almost 2 o'clock in the morning as you can see on my time here. Um, okay, so let's choose the head. I'm going to choose the head so I can attach the camera to that socket. So I'm going to create a socket here by right clicking, add socket, and I'm going to insert for name of the socket FPB Cam. First person view camera. Now that we have created the socket here, let's save it. Let's close this window now we need to work inside our character blueprint so for that just click on your character right click find a content browser make it faster double click on the blueprint and go to your viewport <coughs> as you can see uh, we have already the third person camera here so the one that that when you uh, when you hit the play button you always see in the back of your character we need to add another camera so let's go to our components tab here and let's click on add component let's search for camera I'm gonna put FPS uh, camera first person shooter okay so I'm gonna drag it out from the camera boom and I'm gonna drag it to the mesh so now that we have created our second camera the next step to this is to attach that camera to the socket and for that just go to your details tab on your right search for the socket and click on the little search and this select our socket that is FPB cam that is the socket that we created on the skeleton so I'm gonna okay I'm gonna pull out the real time so I can work a little better with this let me change the not yet let me rotate this to the top view okay so now we have the camera on now perspective let's go back now that we have our camera but it's still way too bad there we go let's hit the play so you can see what it does 
Now, as you can see, it has like a real live motion there. Now, the only problem that we are having with this is that we cannot control the character with the mouse. It gets too crazy. Now, to make a quick change so we can fix that, let's search on the details tab, having your camera selected for the pawn. On the pawn the camera setting here, you need to check fix uh, this box, the use pawn control rotation. After that, go to your class defaults on the top of your menu and click on use controller rotation jaw. Now only click on that one, do not click on the other ones. Now let's hit the play so you can see the difference. As you can see, I can rotate with no problem I can control my entire character with no problem and also I can see his entire body here he's jumping I can see his feet he's really fat um, okay so now that we have our first person camera working we know that we have on the back of the character a third person camera that is this one now we need to change from the third person to the first person and for that let's click on save first of all just in case let's go to the tab R of event graph now here as you can see we have all the inputs for running for the keyboard for the rotation of the mouse everything now from here let's add two things only First of all, I'm going to choose maybe which key so we can activate the first person camera and the third person camera to change it back. I'm going to use uh, number one. I'm going to use number one. Now we need to get our camera, so we need to toggle it. For that, just type the camera that you created that is FPS camera toggle active. Now from here, just link the press to the toggle active for that camera. And that's it guys, we're done. Yeah, we're done. You may be thinking, that's all? Yeah, that's all. Okay, let's hit the play. So now we are in our third person, uh, on our first person camera, my bad. And now we are on the third person. And I wanna change back, so let me hit the one again. Here we go, first person, third person. Pretty simple, huh? Uh, hope you guys like the tutorial. This is Angel from PRGV Entertainment. <coughs> Hit the like button. Write a comment if you need anything. And if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe, guys. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.